G'day you all, uh, just back with a, uh, another polish comparison uh, video. Uh, so what I'm going to go through is I'm going to use these um, boots here that the, the customers asked me to uh, refurbish. Um, a good point to note is that these have never been uh, had any conditioner applied to it, they've never had any real polish applied to it, uh, they're essentially taken out of their box uh, and wiped over with a, a, a polished rag or polished cloth and that's about it. Um, so what I'm going to attempt to do is um, I'll apply the, uh, the suite of um, Angelus polish um, and I'll go through exactly what I'm going to use to do that in, in a minute. Essentially go through it, um, bring it up. Um, I've, I've already placed the gloss meter onto it um, and the readings there vary from you know 0.1 to about 0.5 so that's pretty standard for an unpolished boot um, but what I will do is I'll use a comparison in, is to my actual boots here that uh, were actually started in another uh, video so as if you want to um, watch that one as well this is where we used it on uh, another polish comparison between um, a number of polishes um, and the, these come up to around about 5.6, 5.8. So that's uh, pretty good for a, uh, a brush polish, um, that being that that technique is, is favoured by the ADF. So that's a technique we're going to use on these boots. So let's have a look at um, how we go with the, um, the using the Angelus polish uh, and polish products to bring this up. Uh, now I'll, I'll just go through with uh, the actual um, equipment and uh, polishes that I'll be using um, for this video. Okay, so the polishes that I'm going to be using, uh, first of all, I'll start off with a, the Angelus Leather Balm. Um, I've actually used that uh, in a previous video as well. Um, so if you want to see the results on, on just using that, um, please have a look at that. I'll put the link in the description below. But needless, needless to say, uh, really impressed with that. The actual, um, it's probably one of the best conditions I've used. It gives, not only does it uh, act as a conditioner, but it also gives a, a gloss. So we'll see how that pans out. Um, on top of that, then I'll apply the um, Angelus Black Luster Cream, and once I've buffed that off, I'll place on the Angelus Roll Call, which is which is a wax polish. Um, I'll apply with the um, cloth, um, so I'll apply all of those with the cloth. Um, sometimes you, you can use a, um, a brush to apply the polish or cream, more so the uh, polish. But in this instance, I like to use a cloth. I find that, um, especially with um, a refurbishment, I need to get right into the uh, the grains of the leather and the cloth allows me to do that. Um, after we let, we'll then let it sit, so the cream and um, we'll let all three sit actually, and then we'll buff each um, application off with a nice horsehair brush here, nice soft horsehair brush. And then uh, last but not least, uh, after we've done that onto the um, the wax polish will then go over it with a uh, stocking. Um, in this instance, I've got the stocking there that I can place over the hand and go over the, the boot as well, which I'll find a little bit easier than using it as a scrunched up ball. Um, so with the welt of the boots as well, I'll actually go over that with a brush with a wax polish, and we'll probably do that first. Um, I'll find that's an easy way of doing it. Do that first, and then you can, as each successive layer is brushed off with a horsehair brush, you inadvertently get the welts as well, so that um, it comes up really nice. Right, so let's see how it all turns out, um, and uh, hopefully we get some good results out of these um, fine polishes. Okay, just as a comparison, we'll actually polish up um, the right boot, and we'll leave the left boot as a comparison. So nothing, nothing on it throughout. And this one we'll do um, as a refurb and then eventually we'll come back and do that one but just as a comparison. So the first thing we need to do is just um, go over the boot that we're going to refurb, repolish uh, with our horsehair brush um, and just to make get all the um, dust and dirt and grime, anything that's on there that would hinder us. Um, just get rid of it in, in the welt as well. So just go around the whole boot. And once we're happy with that, um, I'll apply, apply the first step, which is going to be the wax polish onto the 
welt of the boot. Alright, so I'll go ahead and apply this to the, the entire boot and I'll bring it back um, and show you what it looks like. After applying that. The, um, the wax polish onto the welt, uh, as you can see, just using that as a difference. This is the one that we haven't touched yet. So you can see the difference here straight away. Minor difference, but a difference nonetheless. Alright, so next step is to apply the Okay, so we'll go ahead now after we've given it a quick shake, apply the uh, conditioner and use that with a uh, microfiber cloth. Uh, as we rub it in, we'll let it sit for, I'll oh, we'll give it at least an hour. Um, bearing in mind, this is the first time that these boots have had conditioner placed on them. So we'll come back in in the air and after I've gone over the whole boot I'll bring you back in and show you what it looks like on and obviously compare it with one that uh, we haven't touched yet. So I'll go do the whole boot, I'll bring okay, it back so in. I've just finished applying um, a couple of coats of the conditioner onto this particular boot. Um, what I'm going to do now is let it um, just draw into the leather. Uh, which it was doing um, as I was putting it on. So that's why I placed a couple of coats on there because it was drawing it all in. Obviously it hadn't been done at all um, for its entire life. So it's really, really, really drawing that conditioner in. So uh, I'll let that sit for about an hour and I'll come back. If there's any, um, any residue um, from the conditioner on, on the uh, boot, I'll, I'll buff it off uh, with the uh, horsehair brush and um, with the polishing cloth anyway uh, to prepare it for the All next right, step. So I've let the conditioner sit there uh, for just over an hour. What I'll do now is I'll give it a, a quick buff off with the um, horsehair brush. Um, go ahead, I'll do the whole boot. I'll bring it back and show you the end result. And as you can see from this, just this little bit here, and it's coming up quite well. Alright, so with the gloss meter on there, uh, just after the application of the conditioner, um, we're giving readings of around 1.2, 1.3, so just that small amount, that small effort has bought some. Okay, the next step is we're going to use the, the Angelus Black Luster Cream. Um, we'll apply that once again with a soft cloth. You don't want to put too much on it on the initial coat. Um, and I'll even apply it to the, uh, the fabric side, the stretchable side there on the boot as well. Um, being a uh, cream, it's got a pigment in it, so uh, it'll um, bring out the, um, the luster and of the uh, leather and um, whatever else you place it on. So I'll just go ahead rub this in on to the entire boot uh, I'll bring you back in to show you the finished product um, it's a good idea to let it once again draw in to the boot rather than uh, immediately um, buffing it off so let it um, let it draw in uh, you can see on the top of the boot there we're just applying it to the edge as well um, that pigment will um, turn everything black, so that's always good. Alright, so I'll bring it back when I've done the whole boot and um, show you the end product. But it goes on quite well. Um, draws in. Alright, so I just finished applying a single coat of the Endless Black Luster Cream. Alright, so it, um, it's on there now, I'll just let it draw in. Um, and just comparing it to the one that we've done nothing to. Okay, so this one should come up nice. Uh, the reason why I like using a, a polish cloth while I've put the polish on, um, it allows you to really get in and pay attention to the grains of the leather. Um, and it allows the um, polish to build up and create a, a good foundation for when we apply the, uh, the wax polish. So we'll give that a little bit more time to draw in. 
we'll come back buff him off and then uh, go on with the final step of wax. Alrighty so we've left the um, luster cream on there um, for a good 10 minutes um, and we'll just you now give it a buff off, buff off using the horse hair brush um, so I'll go ahead and I'll do the whole boot and then I'll bring it back in and show you the, the end results but as you can see from that bit that's a small part it's come up quite nice very nice right so I've just finished brushing off the whole boot there um, it's looking quite nice that's giving off the quite Okay, so just a quick comparison on uh, the work so far. So this boot here is the one that we've been working on. You can see that it's got a much deeper gloss, and uh, this is the one that we haven't touched. Okay, and it's quite quite bland. Um, yeah, so you can actually definitely see the the results uh, thus far. Okay, so the next step we're going to use the Angelus Roll Call. Uh, it's the wax polish. And just place some onto our microfiber polish cloth and then go over the entire boot like so and just work it in. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll once again I'll go ahead and do the whole boot, the entire boot, and then uh, bring you back, show you what it looks like, wait a while and then give you my buff off. Right, so here we are, we've applied our first coat of um, roll call and what it does, it looks really dull when you place it on uh, just leave it on there, leave it on there for about 5 minutes and then we'll uh, buff him off and now to, to bring up um, a really deep shine uh, it'll, you'll have to place on um, 2 or 3 coats so we'll go so ahead now the buff off of the roll call Now it's important too when you're using the horsehair brush um, as a buff off, um, put a little bit of speed in there because what you're doing is using the friction um, to react with the polish and that's what creates the high shine on it. Alright so what I'll do, it's come, up, it's come up really nice, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the whole boot. Um, once again bring it back and show you the finished product so toe nice and glossy the rest of it's pretty much a matte but we'll fix that up right so I just buffed it off uh, so what I'll do is I'll just um, give it a rub with the stocking um, stocking um, is really really good for just applying that extra bit of gloss on there so just out of comparison, this is the one that we've finished. And it's got a nice overall sheen to it. Looks really nice for a brush polish, really good. And this is the one that we're about to work on. And essentially do everything the same except for the wax polish, which will be the, the Angelus shoe wax polish. So we'll try that one on that one. Okay, so I've completed the um, conditioner and I've also placed on the luster cream. I've buffed that off. Uh, so the next step is we're going to uh, apply now the Angelus Perfect Stain Shoe Wax Polish. Uh, much the same method as we applied the roll call. And I just want to see what the difference is between the two. Obviously we'll... Um, prefer the one that gives the higher gloss. Right, so I'll just go through, apply the polish, I'll let it sit, uh, I'll buff it off and I'll bring you back for the uh, comparison. Right, right. g'day all, just for the uh, conclusion of the uh, polish comparison. So what I've done is I've lined up uh, the two that we've done here. So this is the roll call, this is the um, Angelus Black. And then as comparison, um, I've got my shoes that we've previously polished in a previous video um, the Sophia Neutral and also the Angelus Black just as for a, a comparison um, I've done it in light natural sunlight because that's pretty much where you're going to stand when you wear these uh, you want to get a good idea of 
how they look in the sun. Um, so that's the comparison there. And as you can see, I've got the gloss mitt, the stocking mitt. So I'll just give that a quick once over. And that uh, actually produces a next level of gloss on there. So it's a, it's a good technique to use. Uh, right, so what we'll do now is I'll set up the, the, um, the test rig and put the gloss meter on it. Um, and I'll make sure I can keep it um, as consistent as possible so we get a, um, a, a, um, a standard of conditions throughout the, um, the test kit and we'll see how we go. See what the gloss readings are in the natural sunlight as opposed to artificial light. Okay, so this is the comparison. This is the um, Sophia Medel Dior in uh, neutral. And uh, what I've done is I've lined the arrow up just with the, uh, the tip of the toe there. And I'll keep that consistent with all of them. And we're getting readings here for 12.7, uh, 12.8. So this is with the Angelus Black, just as a comparison. Um, we're getting readings around about 13.4, 13.5. Okay, so with the roll call, we're getting readings around about 10.1. And then we have the last of the Angelus Black, the one that we just um, polished up. Um, and getting readings there from 14.1, uh, 14.3. Right, so there you go, in conclusion, um, so with the uh, the Angelus polish, I, I really rate these polishes, they're um, much much less expensive than the uh, Sophia Medill Dior, uh, and they do, as you can see from the results from previous videos and even this video, um, an equal if not better um, task of bringing up a gloss on your leather goods. Um, so, and I think the takeaway is, to use a three-step method as we use here so conditioner then we use a cream and then finally uh, a wax polish um, so what I might do now is um, I actually put a kit together so it's affordable um, just trying to get it at wholesale prices pass the cost savings on to you guys so then you can use uh, just come in buy the kit um, and know that you're getting a really good quality and and it's proven we've, we've done videos on and uh, We've proven the actual the worth of these products. All right, so um, thanks for watching, and um, as always with any of my content, uh, please feel free to place a comment down the bottom um, and open for discussion. Thanks very much, and thanks for your time.